I find it so precious to, to come here and I remember the first times when I came to a meeting like this. I was just so relieved to hear that I have a choice in every moment, how I want to use my mind, how I want to um, go about when all the thoughts, emotions and sensations that are coming up in my everyday life, how I can really respond to the most beneficially and effectively and, and, and that was mind-blowing for me to be introduced to a simple way um, of relating to all my thoughts, emotions and sensations which we call data in the Balanced View Training to just simplify it and, um, and I mean we have so many data every day coming up from pain, from thoughts, negative thoughts, positive thoughts, from nice experience but everything can come up in our um, everyday life and through the balanced view training I, I received this simple way of um, yeah dealing with everything that that life throws to me and um, not only dealing with it but really empowering and, and seeing really ways of um, yeah, having a tool to really be be beneficial in life and not being being sidetracked by all the thoughts, emotions and sensations. And um, the simple practice we offer here in Balanced View is just to take a short moment, repeat it many times, which is just to relax body and mind completely, just for a short moment, and recognize that open intelligence, which is the ground of all our perception, is always present, always alive and there. Open intelligence is the power to know open intelligence always present and we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment. When we just stop thinking for a moment, we, we recognize that something about us is always present. There's a cognizance, an awareness, an alertness. Everything that perceives who, what we hear, what we sense, what we see, the ground of everything, open <coughs> intelligence. So, what we do when we stop thinking is we recognize that something about us is always present, always on. And then we see a next thought comes in and we see, wow, this open intelligence didn't never go anywhere. So with the introduction to open intelligence, with stopping thinking, we recognize something that might have gone unnoticed in our experience. When we are all caught up in our description of the thoughts and emotions, and we see, wow, thoughts and emotions are inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence, always present, always on. So with a short moment, where we relax body and mind completely, we recognize that open intelligence is always present within our thoughts, within our emotions, within our sensations. Inseparable. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. We cannot separate them out from each other. So we cannot separate our thoughts and emotions out of open intelligence. And through taking short moments, we more and more bring open intelligence into our view of perception, rather than the description of the thoughts, emotion and sensation of all the data streams. So it, it keeps it really simple, like we can do it um, in our everyday life, no matter what we're doing, we can test it out to take a short moment, we relax completely. And that we repeat again and again during our day. And soon enough we see that these, these short moments just become automatic. We become more and more automatic in our everyday life. So it, it, it becomes like a really effortless practice that just takes over where we, we don't need to do anything anymore with our thoughts and emotions and sensations. The feeling of, of, of pain in our body. I had a great experience this week of... of the pain and muscle tension in my body this week and um, I, I could go into all kinds of story what happened I mean I can share a little bit I got a tetanus shot and I think from that all my whole back and neck was just completely stiff now to re I had a great opportunity to relax completely there not needing to go even into the description why that came about that was just like Everything came up. I couldn't hardly move, my, my back was paining and I could see that complete relaxation is the key. Complete relaxation, not needing to try to figure out why this happened to me, did the doctor give me the right 
injection or <laughs> maybe something else happened there or was it, you know, like everything, everything, but allowing it to be as it is, complete relaxation in the moment with everything that came up, with the tension, with the not knowing what it is, you know, like just re complete, relax complete relaxation and seeing that I could be completely able to function could do all my tasks that I needed to do, could do, you know, like I was capable of doing everything that, that was required without even going into all the description of the pain, but not needing to ignore it or keep getting lost in the description of why this happened. And, and um, I found that so profound to see that nothing needs to change. I don't need to change the data streams that came up for me in that moment, just allowing it to be as it is everything that came up and of course taking care of what is needed I put something warm you know like everything you will just just completely know what your body needs and that is what I find so profound in this in this training is that we have clarity in every moment what is of most benefit that includes also of course taking care of our own body includes also seeing ways in how we can um, go about in each situation no matter what comes up we are so empowered to see clearly but we are not a victim of our data streams any longer. And that is really profound what we see. We're not victims anymore of the data that comes up, no matter what it is. If it's data from the past, we're allowed to be as it is. Of course, it's painful. Some of us ha had really strong and painful experience in the past. We don't need to ignore them or say, oh, you know, nothing happened or I shouldn't think about it or I shouldn't allowing it to be as it is without needing to accept them or needing to reject the data stream that come up really allowing everything to be as it is and what I could see in my experience then is that all the things that happened to me in the past even if they came up they don't have any power to influence me in the, in the present moment even if strong data comes up of pain of sorrow I mean, it's so natural that these data streams come up. We allow them to be as they are, and then they don't, they don't have any power over us. We're not a victim of these data streams any longer, and that is such a great relief. That doesn't mean that we don't feel everything that comes up. We can feel everything completely, everything. All the thoughts, emotions, sensations. They are the power of benefit right there, the grief of the past. It's power to be of benefit, allowing it to be as it is, allows us completely to be, to be of benefit in, in, in this moment. But if we collapse into all the data streams, then we cannot see clearly anymore. Then it just, then we are washed away with the data stream. But we have the power, we have the choice in every moment. And that's what I saw and, and really got empowered when I came to this training to know that I have the choice in every moment how I want to use my mind. So either I indulge in the, the thoughts and emotions or try to avoid them or replace them. That was the three things that I tried to do always with my experience. And now I was introduced to another so effective way of, of, of um, dealing with my thoughts and emotions to allow them to be as they are. It's brilliant. We don't need to do anything with, with these sensations, with these data. We allow them to be as they are by relaxing body and mind completely. So we don't go into the description of uh, why I have this sorrow from the past, why did it happen to me, or you know, trying to figure out. All my life I tried to figure out why my experience was how it was. All my life I tried to analyze. Such a relief not needing to do that not needing to figure out why data are, are there. Everybody has data coming up. We will always have data streams coming up, no matter what they are, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, sometimes neutral. It will always change. That's the nature of all data streams. They come, hang out a while, and then they just self-release. We don't need to do anything with the data in order for them to self-release. We All our life we maybe tried that, but it's not needed. The data, I mean, then it pops up what, and we know exactly what to do. Knowing exactly what to do in this moment with the thought that comes up, with the sensation that comes up, 
resting mind and body completely. And the great thing is that we don't need to do it on our own only. That was really powerful for me. Having a complete, um, we have a complete support network, the four mainstays in Balanced View. And that is just a, a comprehensive um, toolkit, so to say, to empower each data stream that we are really able to, to really see all data streams as open intelligence. So one of the nuances is the short moments that we can do wherever we are. We can take a short moment. We have lots of trainings, meetings like this one and trainings, one day introductory trainings, four day introductory trainings to really test it out in our own direct experience where we read a written text of the founder of Balanced You and, and really see what, how we can more and more implement these short moments in our everyday life. So it becomes really effortless, that it's really so practical to apply in our everyday life. Also when we are not here in India, maybe sometimes it's easier, we thought, to relax when we are here in Arambot. But we really get a toolkit that we can really apply it everywhere we go. Open intelligence is everywhere, equally and evenly. So in every activity that we are doing, in every country we are in, we just have complete access to our, the nature of our mind at all times. And the balanced view um, gives us such a um, huge variety of, of, of possibilities that we can really integrate that in our everyday life. So we also have trainers always available for us when, when we don't know exactly how to rely on open intelligence, which is perfectly fine. And then we have somebody who just gone before and has made all these experiences themselves and relied on the four mainstays to empower all data streams. So we can always rely on someone. And then we have a whole community of people all over the world that, that uh, relies on open intelligence and, and demonstrate that this is possible, a possible way of life, a natural way of life. It's how we are meant to be living, just really at ease and, and um, empowered in every moment. So that's, that's the, the, the amazing thing that we just really can rely on something that we have tools to really implement that in our everyday life. It really makes it easy. That's what I can share from my experience. It really makes it easy. Easy to bring it about in my everyday life. Easy to really live a life of complete um, relaxation, ease and, and harmonious relationships. Something that was always like, wow, that's what I would love to have and I didn't think it was possible because I tried so hard in my life and, and then just to see, wow, it's so natural and it can be so easy, so simple. So that's really um, what I became to, to see from, from just being involved in Balanced through the last 10 years. And it becomes better and better, easier and easier. Just continuing on to really rely on, on open intelligence every moment of my life. It's just such an easy way to live and to share with, with, with others, to share that this is really a possibility, to live in this easeful way of, of, of being that is so natural to us. Everybody knows this naturalness and ease of being. We all experience that in our life and to be able to really live that 24-7, that's what we, we get um, a guarantee here when we come and, 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 and um, test it out in our life.